Today I'm going to show you how to measure picoference and resistance on your Kiln Scout using a variable load device or VLD. Now in your VLD kit there's actually going to be four different measurements on each one of these pieces and it's going to measure four different measurements for picoference and four different measurements for resistance. You're going to go ahead and hook up your leads the same way that you would hook them up as if you were going to put them in the kiln. But instead, you're actually going to take these clips and hook them on to each end of the VLD unit itself. It's good to go ahead and just give them a twist to make sure they're on there securely so it reads accurately. And now I'm going to show you how to transmit. So now I'm going to show you the screen we want to end up on when we're testing the VLDs in the Kiln Scout. So go ahead and open your Kiln Scout program and select the status drop down. Select hub network. And it may take a few minutes for all of the hubs to populate on this page, especially if you have more than one. And this can actually be identified down here in the bottom left corner where it says network search complete. We're going to go ahead and select the hub that we want to test and click diagnostic. And this is going to pull up this hub screen. This is going to be all of the kiln scouts that are being transmitted to that hub. And now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to transmit. To send a manual transmission, take the Kiln Scout over to your hub box, press the mode button once. It's going to light up on the Kiln Scout as well as on the receive light on the board. And it can send up to three transmissions. So once you hit the mode button on the Kiln Scout and send the transmission to the hub, it's actually going to populate on this page. Uh, you'll be able to easily identify and separate what ones are automatically being pick picked up and which ones are manually being transmitted right here through the manual read and it'll select the ones that you sent. It can send up to three signals per kiln scout so don't worry if you see more than one. What you're going to want to do then is look under the capacitance and the resistance to make sure that those two numbers are relatively close to what is actually on the VLD itself. A good rule of thumb is to keep it within about 10%. If it's varying more than 10%, go ahead and give us a call and we'll provide more information. For more information, visit finnagroup.com slash SCSFP.